My name is Scott Fong, and today I'm here to tell you about thermocouples and the different types we use in field heat treating. For the purposes of field heat treating in North America, we use type K thermocouples almost exclusively. But we use them in a number of different forms, from mechanically attached type thermocouples like this, to several different types of jacketed thermocouple wire for capacitor discharge welding. First, we'll talk about the mechanically attached thermocouples versus the capacitor discharge thermocouples. To understand the difference between these two types of thermocouples, we first need to understand how thermocouples work. In simple terms, thermocouples consist of two small wires of dissimilar metals that when connected form a junction that provides feedback to an instrument that gives a temperature reading. In mechanically attached thermocouples like this one, the junctions within the stainless steel sheathing that is insulated by magnesium oxide. For capacitor discharge welded wires, the junction is actually in the base metal. So there's quite a difference in the accuracy of the temperature reading. DJ Cottrell presented at the Welding Institute Symposium in November of 1977. He documented in his research that a mechanically attached thermocouple read 130 degrees Fahrenheit higher than that of a thermocouple attached by capacitor discharge methods at 1292 degrees Fahrenheit. So why would we use a mechanically attached thermocouple? Well, they tend to be attached a little easier and they're more durable for preheating when there's a lot of gouging and grinding taking place. That being said, their use should be limited to preheats where interpass windows are not a critical factor for the welding operations. And although they are rated at 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, they should not be used for post weld heat treatment. So next we'll take a look at the jacketed thermocouple wires for capacitor discharge welding. The first type of wire we're looking at here is a high density fiberglass single jacketed wire that's only rated to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a lower grade, cheaper option, but by utilizing only a single insulating jacket, if the thermocouple is disturbed, dead shorts can occur outside of the welded junction, which can lead to faulty readings and potential overheat scenarios. The next type of wire is a double jacketed high temperature fiberglass. It's rated to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's pretty much become the industry standard in North America for field heat treating purposes. The second outside jacket provides additional protection against dead shorts in case your thermocouple gets disturbed during the heat cycle. The third type of wire we have here is referred to as Seifer wire. This is a double jacketed ceramic fiber insulated wire for high temperature applications such as solution annealing, normalizing, and stabilizing. This wire is rated to 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that you've learned about the different types of thermocouples, you can appreciate that there's a need not only to ask for a certificate of conformance for the thermocouples being used by your heat treatment providers, but that you're also ensuring that the thermocouple wire is rated for the applications that's being used.